Okay, let's um, try to do this problem now, just uh, naming uh, these different ionic compounds. Um, it looks like most of them are transition metal uh, polyatomic ion compounds. Okay, so you're going to have to know uh, the name uh, and chemical formula and charge of the polyatomic ion in order to do uh, these types of problems, of course. Um, cobalt, I'm going to give you a periodic table, um, so you won't you know, need to know uh, cobalt for right now, but um, cobalt is going to be CO, and since it's cobalt 2, you know that it's plus 2. So since it's a transition metal, it's got this Roman numeral there, and that Roman numeral tells you what the ionic charge is. Remember, transition metals are always positively charged, okay? Um, and then you just got to memorize what phosphate is. Phosphate is this compound, or this um, ion here, PO4, 3 minus, okay? And then just like any other ionic uh, compound, when you uh, make the formula unit, you want uh, the charges, the positive charges to balance with the negative charges. Okay, so um, the only way or the lowest way to get two and three to balance is to put um, two times three is six. So if you have three cobalts, that's going to give you a positive six charge. Um, and then phosphate, of course, if you multiply three times what equals six, that's going to be two. Okay, so you got to know um, really the charge of phosphate there. Okay, so um, then you see we got plus six here, uh, minus six there. So just combine those two to make CO3. And then with polyatomic ions, you want to put them in parentheses to uh, emphasize, of course, and indicate that they are one unit. Okay, and then just put the two as the subscript there. Okay, so does that make sense on how to do that one? Okay, cool. Let's do this one here, and hopefully it'll make even more sense. Okay, cobalt two again. It's the same thing. You know that it's going to be CO two plus. Okay, because of the Roman numeral there. And oxide, oxygen, you should know by now, since it's in um, <coughs> the group 16 elements there, uh, it's going to have a negative 2 charge. So O2 minus there. And then again, you want those cation, cationic and anionic charges to balance. Uh, 2 and 2, 2 minus 2, of course, balances. Um, so this compound is going to be COO, like that. Barium permanganate, okay, permanganate, this is another polyatomic ion. Um, its structure is, or its uh, formula is MnO4 minus. Okay, so that's just something you're going to have to memorize. Um, and barium, if you look at the periodic table, you see that it's a group 2 element, or alkaline earth metal. Um, all those group 2s always have a plus 2 charge. Okay? So uh, we're going to have Ba2 plus and MnO4 minus there. So remember, we want to balance these charges. Okay, so we got 2 plus and 1 minus, so we're going to need another minus sign. And how to do that? Well, you just get another MnO4. So by doing, put a 2 there. And then, of course, uh, when those two things come together, we get B, A, M, N, O, 4. And then that 2 goes down as a subscript. Yeah. So that's barium uh, for manganese. Okay. Calcium nitrate, again, it's similar to this barium for manganate. Nitrate is another polyatomic ion, NO3 minus. Okay, so you're going to have to remember that. You're going to have to know, again, your polyatomic ions, okay? 
And then calcium, again, is a, a two, group two element. So we got two plus there. So you see it's similar as uh, barium permanganate was, uh, two plus two to minus one, plus two to minus one. So you just put a two in front of that nitrate, and then when you make the formula unit, of course, you're gonna have calcium and O32. So that's calcium nitrate. And then iron two sulfate. Um, iron two, well, iron is a transition metal. That's why it's got this Roman numeral after it. Um, iron's atomic formula is Fe. Uh, the two indicates that it's gonna be two plus. Uh, sulfate is something you're gonna have to remember. It's SO4 two minus, like that. And hopefully you can see that plus two and minus two will cancel each other out. So all you gotta do in this one is write FeSO4, okay? Notice um, in this one we didn't put parentheses around the polyatomic ion. And that's due to the fact that there's no subscript after it, okay? So there's not two of them or three of them uh, like we had in the previous problems. Well, two of them in each of those previous problems, okay? Does that make sense?